Alright folks, what is up? I have been dying to show you this match for quite some time actually, so this is my ranked match I played against Japanese trainer right here. This is the first game I played on ranked on my Nintendo 2DS. He's got the Pegasus Khan, the Metagross, the Malatic, and I never remember the name of those things. Thunderous, uh, well one, it's not Thunderous, but it's one of those three. Abamungus, Zapdos, Lucario, and Hydreigon. This is going to be a very interesting match, but I can't wait to show you this, so let's get right into this. <laughs> Hello. Alright, this is Japanese trainer right here. He was quite highly ranked up in the league right here. I think he's about 1800 rating, which is really high. I opened with my Amungus and my Zapdos. He opened up with Malatic and the thing. I can't remember the name of it. It goes ahead with it. Uh, obviously, the intimidating move comes right out here and it does reduce the attack of my Amungus and Zapdos. However, not a new attack anyway at this point. Uh, his Malatic goes for the protect and I'm guessing they're going for status problems this time just to get some harassment off. Uh, he does go for the U-turn straight on the Mamungus, which does considerable damage, but it does give him the switch option here, which allows him to switch into something which will give him an advantage. So he chooses to go right ahead with his Metagross right here. Um, it's an interesting move because my Zapdos goes for Thunder Wave on the Protect, however, the Mamungus does go for the Spore, and it will manage to put this Metagross to sleep, which is really good for me, and the Metagross is completely nullified for the time being for around approximately two turns at the minimum. So we're going to turn 3 right here in Zapdos, I do bring him back because I don't see a point. I want to bring in Lucario because I know Milotic can't kill him in one shot. I'm going for a, spo I'm going for a spore on Milotic anyway. However, the Milotic is quite smart here. The, Mil the Milotic goes for Icy Wind, which is going to hit both of my Pokemon. And it is going to also reduce the speed of my Lucario as well by one stage and my Amoogus right there. Amoogus is so much of a problem because it was going last anyway and usually does. However, the Spore is just off here onto the Milotic. So the Milotic and the Metagross are both sleeping. So right now I have complete control of the board. Toxic Sludge is going to heal my Amoongus just a little bit by approximately 160 to its health. He goes and withdraws his Milotic right there. He is going to replace it with a Thunderous type, type thing. And I, it, it's a ground type or something. I know my friend was helping me with this one. He switches back in again. We get minus two attack on the Amoongus and minus one attack on the Caro. He doesn't know this is my special attacker. However, I do bring back a Moongus and go right into my Hydreigon. I've done a much of harassment in my opinion at this point, so I want to go for some aggressive play. I'm going to go right ahead into Mega here with my Lucario, and I'm going to go for the Nasty Plot. The Nasty Plot is going to put me on plus two special attack, which is what my Lucario specializes into. And the Metagross does make up, however, it does get the Zen Head Boot, however, it does, uh, it does not affect the kind of Hydreigon. Um, I was expecting some form of Psychic move on to. Um, I'm going to get there, so I did manage to fall out into my dark type. He does go for it on my uh, Lucario as well, but I do manage to miss that. Jake Mega comes zooming down on this one right here, doing tons of damage here. He is going to drop it all the way down, however, it is holding a focus side, so he is going to survive that by one hit point. That's a big deal, folks, and you're going to see why later on. My special attack is going to harshly fall, and he is going to go for the U-turn straight on a Hydro. I'm going to do a ton of damage right there, bring him to 54 hit points. However, that will bring his uh, Land Landorus, I think it is, I think. Back to uh, he's gonna go back to him right there and present in his mounting once again. I'm gonna go for the R sphere straight on the Metagross. It is a plus two R sphere with the Nasty Block. Okay, there's no real mistake that done whatsoever, and we already know that the the uh, the focus slash was on uh, Landorus right there. He sends out his Mega Kangaskhan. This is gonna be his Mega. This, don't forget, the Megas are really really powerful, especially Kangaskhan. And Mega Kangaskhan dominated the US for, uh, nationals there for the BGCs. So Mega Kangaskhan is gonna come into play right here. I did sort of predict this, and I was predicting a fake out, so I do go for Protect on my Lucario while I'm sporing uh, Kangaskhan, so I go for this, I go for the Protect, um, I'm expecting a fake out, however he doesn't do that, he goes for a Fire Punch, which I do manage to protect myself with, and I wasn't really sure what to do here, so it was a hard decision, and the I didn't want to risk it, so I did bring back Lucario, and I switched uh, into Zapdos right there. He is, he is trained uh, defensively. And we'll see what this guy does. So he does go right ahead with the Fire Punch. And he does hit my Amoongus. But then he does double damage with that Mega Kangaskhan. And the Mini Kangaskhan does attack. Bringing that an hit point. Which does do over half its health. Which is quite threatening to me. He does wake up uh, on the Milotic. And go for the Ice Cream. of damage. And it's going to put uh, Zapdos and Amoongus both on minus one speed. He's going to drop this a little bit there. And the Kangaskhan does fall asleep. Just gonna turn this on just a little bit because it is a little bit late here. 
I'm hoping I'm still, uh, I'm hoping you can still hear the music just a little bit right there. And I'm gonna restore both my Pokemon have restoring items right now, which is kind of useful. Kangaskhan is sleeping, and I've called back Amoongus in favor of my Lucario to try and finish off this Kangaskhan. And my Zapdos is planning on Thunder Waving this Milotic. My Zapdos does have Thunder Wave and it does have the Swagger ability. And Milotic is a special attacker, so it is going to add the confusion on for free. Um, the Milotic goes for Hidden Power, which is going to be the Hidden Power Fire, which I caught me well off guard right there. The Carol goes right down to 51 hit points. I panicked a bit here. Um, I do go for Thunder Wave onto Milotic, thankfully, and it does get paralyzed, which is the main the main use of this is to reduce its speed and uh, to get the extra chance of not t taking the damage from it. So this is where I get. This is where this guy makes a really good play here. So I forget about this hidden power bar. I make a really silly mistake here. He sends out his land doors, which is all, which is the one on one hit point, and I do go for the aura sphere and take this out. However, that does mean that his uh, Milotic is going to finish off my Lucario and deal quite a bit of damage to my team right now because uh, he still has his Mega Kangaskhan in play, but it is sleeping. So that is going to take on down the land doors right there. I have to stop saying right there. That's something I do have to work on. I'm going to go for the Swagger onto Milotic, which means it is going to be paralyzed, and it is going to be confused, meaning it only has a 25% chance of actually being able to do any damage. Uh, he does get the confusion, and he does, of course, go right through that and hits his Hidden Power, which is really unfortunate. He hit the Hidden Power through the confusion and through the paralysis, but there it is going to kill off my Lucario, which is so frustrating. Lucario does fall. He did a really good job, though, Lucario. Probably not the star player of this match, but it's still my favorite. Zapdos doing really well, they're restoring itself all the way back up to full again from the icy win at the start. I do send in my Hydro right now with the full, with the pure intention of just taking out this Kangaskhan and doing as much damage as I possibly can. So, this match starts and the Kangaskhan wakes up immediately, I couldn't have been any more unlucky. Fake out is going to go up on a Hydro and easily take this thing out, thanks to the mini Kangaskhan boots right there, so it is going to knock Hydro out. I didn't expect the wake up, so I just go for a Thunderbolt and do as much damage as I possibly can on the Kangaskhan and try and finish it off. So he does bring me down to two Pokemon, and this is where this, this, this smart play from this guy, I completely forgot about this. Icy Wind is going to go straight on his Zapdos, deal a bit of damage right there, and lower the speed as standard. And the Malatic is paralyzed, so it's, and Kangaskhan was faster anyway, so it isn't going to change too much in terms of the speed loss. Uh, I go for my last Pokemon, which is going to be Amoongus, so it is going to be the Kangaskhan and Malatic versus the Zapdos and Amoongus. And these are the final two Pokemon on each side. He goes for the Fire Punch straight on Amoongus right here, and he, Amoongus takes it with 15 hit points remaining. And thankfully, I do get the uh, Thunderbolt onto Kangaskhan. And I was going to put this thing to sleep, but I didn't want to take a chance. I wanted to finish this off completely. I went for the Sludge Bomb to completely finish this off. I knew he was going to be able, I knew Amoongus would be able to survive the Fire Punch unless he got a lucky crit in there, which was the only chance that I had. The Icy Wind is going to go and hit both of my Pokemon in play. It will take an Amoongus. However, my Zapdos is completely specially defensive, and his Malatic has absolutely no physical attacks whatsoever, even though it does have the plus four special attack, or, uh, plus four attack right now due to my Swaggers. Um, Zapdos is going to restore its health just a little bit right here. Um, I just go for the safe play, I don't take any chances just in case it crits and so on, so I go for the swagger and reduce the chance to attack again until he's back down to 25%. Um, this, match, this match is basically over at this point, unfortunately, because his Malatek cannot break my Sapphos is a special defense tanking wall right now, and he does get the paralysis there. I'm going to heal this a little bit with leftovers, and I'm going to Thunderbolt this thing to death, and that's basically all she wrote, there's not really much else he can do about it. I did get the over half uh, damage on the Thunderbolt right there. My Zapdos only has six points in, uh, well, basically four EV points into um, special attack, so it doesn't do much. Uh, it does get paralyzed once again, which is really cool for me. I did get this. I did get the leftover hill. However, he did get the Citrusberry Hill, which is going to put him up and take an extra turn. I do go for the Thunderbolt once again, the only bit of damage onto his Malice again, putting him down into the red health. And he does get the Infusion, which is going to deal damage and bring him down to approximately about. Four, five, six hit points right there. Uh, Zapdos is going to restore just a little bit with leftovers, and this is where the guy gets a bit annoying because he just does. He goes for the protect here, which is just stupid, and um, prolonging this as long as he possibly can. So he does fall for. Um, he does protect through that damage for that one turn. However, the next turn it is inevitable, and instead of letting me kill him, he just does go for the surrender, and he does forfeit that match. So that was a really enjoyable match for me, and. I was going to cast the uh, rotation battle tonight, but I'm not going to do it because this is a relatively long one and my uh, family are basically telling me to shoot at the moment. So I really hope you enjoyed that, folks. I enjoyed that one. It was a close match. Um, Zapdos doing a really good job there, especially a uh, defensive uh, tank right there. Just so good. And my Lucario did get outplayed by the Switch right there. Well, I got outplayed by the Switch. 
And I, I, I basically forgot about the hidden power. What I should have done that turn was protected and um, took in um, a new Thunderbolt instead of wasting a turn there. So I hope you enjoyed that, folks. Tomorrow I will upload my, hopefully get about two uploaded. It's difficult because I'm going to be at laser request tomorrow. I'll probably take a couple of pictures of it and upload it to the Hero of the Wave page just so you guys get to see what I'm actually doing and what just... One thing I'm always afraid about is saying whenever I'm busy and so on is people think, because people get lazy when they upload videos, I used to do it so I know what it's like, but I'm really committed this time and I really do want to upload as many videos as possible, especially the ones that are really good such as this one, and whenever I go out places, I'm going to try, try and blog them because the, my, my page is sort of like my blog and I do enjoy it. Um, and I'll look back in a couple of years and I'll be like, hey, I remember doing that. And I just love that kind of feeling because I have blogs that are already back from 2004 and it was really enjoyable. I'm going out of time here, folks. I'm out of here and I'll see you tomorrow, hopefully. Bye!